Short premium traders benefit from the time decay of an option's extrinsic value. We are positive theta, so you're long theta, long long time decay, mm-hmm. but risk potential losses from exposure to changes in IV, your short volatility. You, if you're long time, you're usually short volatility. If you're short time, i.e. your long premium, you are long volatility. You want these big moves to offset the decay of time. This is just option 101. I mean, this is just how long versus short options work. When you are net short premium, you have positive theta decay and your short volatility. And when you're net long premium, it's the opposite. A trade with a high initial profit potential has a high theta for the amount of vega risk at the time of the uh, the trade is placed. So when volatility is high, your vega exposure is also going to be high, but your theta is also going to be high, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Yep, of course. High volatility. Of course. That's what you're looking for. I'm getting a lot of people selling me on my coding. Here, a lot. You're not. You're not alone. It's a crowded. It's a crowded space. Yeah, that's. If we put, we should make a prediction market on that. Hopefully, that's going to Code Academy. That's where I'm going. That that's actually going. would be a great idea for our platform. What's that? It's for us to make our own prediction markets and offer them to the public. Like I could put that out there on a prediction. You know, uh-huh. buying or selling, and we'll put a time limit on it. The <laughs> problem is, there's that's a lot. You know, you're going to be around a, a long time, pops. God willing, I yes, so. yes, yes. I hope so. <laughs> the study. <laughs> SPY 2020 to present. So we're looking at this five-year uh, time frame, so more recent time frame here. We're going to be looking at selling 16 Delta, 45-day strangles, managed at 21 days till expiration. So we're selling the 16 Delta on either side. Compared the strangle, uh, we're looking at the strangle, obviously, and the vega and theta amounts there. And we're looking at the change in vega and theta as a magnitude relative to the change in volatility. So we're looking at that actual number, how much it changes based on different IV rank ranges. So we're comparing it in various IV environments from 10 to 20, 20 to 30. And 10 to 20 is typically uh, kind of the lower end. 20 to 30 is, is mid-range. That's kind of where we sit most of the time. 30 to 40 is kind of on the higher end, and then 40 and above is kind of the high vol mark, right? That's you know, true. IV rank is is weighted, so it's skewed toward these like very big prints. So you don't you don't see a ton of like 60, 70, 80 percent in uh I or 60, 70, 80 IV ranks because that implies that volatility kind of stays elevated for a long period of time. It typically comes down. So these are the buckets for IVR that we're looking at. Very good. Next slide here. So the amount of the initial IV directional risk is lower on average in high IVR because the options at a given delta are priced efficiently for the IV environment. Basically, what it's saying is that when volatility is high, it's priced where it should be. When volatility is low, it's priced abnormally low. Like it's it's lower than what it 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 probably should be uh, on those positions. And so you can see your 16 delta spy strangle, you you actually have more vega exposure, short volatility when volatility is low because it doesn't get priced into those, you know, tail type, op- 16 delta isn't it? It's another tail. way of looking at why we don't ramp up when volatility is low on trading these type of short um, vega, short uh, volatility type positions because you put yourself a little bit behind the eight ball, as opposed to the advantageous look at volatility when volatility is high to look to sell premium. And a lot of this has to do with where your risk is. Sure. So when you sure. have okay. high high IVR, your strangle relative to where the stock is trading, and we're looking at SPY here, is much really? further out of the money. Right. And that's why a lot of this Vega exposure is lesser, is because even though it's the same delta, and there's probably a lot of fear going on, there's a lot of you know, things moving, headlines, whatever. Your the where your risk is is way, way further out of the money. When you're when you're dealing with a 10 or 20 IV rank, your vol your uh, strangle is much closer at the money. And so when things change, and they will, you have a lot more risk on that position because that delta goes, you know, a lot higher. So it's relative to where you are on the distribution here. Uh, that's why your vega kind of contracts when volatility is higher. Well said. Next slide here. So on average, as IVR increases the extrinsic value of strangles, 
also decreases at a faster daily rate. So you, the, this is kind of talking about how not only is your vol risk lesser when vol is high because you've realized the volatility, but you're also getting paid a lot more on those options. And, and this is just goes to mar- fear being overstated. Mm-hmm. When there is fear, meaning volatility spikes, the fear of the fear is overstated, yeah. right? So Sounds funny, but yes. You've had the fear. like So like before the fear event, you know, it's understated because volatility is low. You have the spike in volatility and it goes to typically a range that is well overstating whatever the event is. And that in turn makes it so that your, your volatility exposure is lesser because it's kind of gone. If volatility tends to spike past where it's actually mm-hmm. should be. Right. Mm -hmm. Should be at 25. It spikes to 50. And that's kind of what you see here with your theta as well. You're getting paid more, even though there's more uncertainty. It's not mispriced, right? It's not mispriced. That's what the market can bear. If the market couldn't bear it, it would be it would be lower. For sure. If the market warranted, it would be lower. The mispricing comes with what we look at after the fact. Right. In the moment, it is priced what it is. But we've seen this time and time again that when vol spikes, it mean reverts, but it doesn't feel that way in the moment. You know, you have COVID and everybody's locked down and it feels like the world's ending and it doesn't end. And then volatility comes back. And that's typically what you see here. So the moral of the story is here is that it means that high IVR, short premium trades benefit both from faster time de- decay and reduced IV directional risk. You're paid, your 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 risk on when IV rank is 40, you're getting paid more and your risk is relatively less in terms of volatility risk on those positions. It's counterintuitive. It, is it, counter. seems, it seems crazy to put on risk when risk is priced at its height. It does go against what your normal mind would tell you. Yes. That's right. That's right. Yes. It's like the house is on fire and you're running in kind of thing. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Yep. But really, the house isn't on fire. Somebody just told you the house is on fire. The AI. It's an AI fire. It's an AI generated fire. That's right. That's right. Next slide here. So theta tends to increase with IVR at a much faster rate than the Vega magnitude tends to decrease. So particularly in very high IV environments, this means that premium traders tend to benefit much more from faster time decay than from the change in the IV directional risk in high IVR. And so you can see The change in theta in terms of the extrinsic value increases a lot more than the relative risk of that strangle. And that's, again, because of where the risk is. The risk is so far out of the money when volatility expands relative to where it has been when volatility is lower that when you get that that time decay, it's much, much more profitable than just the change in implied volatility. The IV, the change in IV is awesome, but it's really the, the tail options that come down in delta. Those 16 delta options go to two delta very, very quickly in that volatility contract. Quicker than you want, too. Yes, if you're long. That's right. That's right. So a couple of takeaways here. A trade with a high initial profit potential has a high theta for the amount of vega risk at the time the trade is placed. 60 Delta spy strangles have a higher initial theta and lower initial vega in higher IV, but short premium traders benefit much more from faster time decay than from the reduced IV directional risk in these types of environments, uh, types of volatility environments. Basically, what we're saying is when volatility is high, you're getting paid way more to take that risk and your actual risk relative to where volatility is becomes lesser because of how far out of the money you are on those positions. 